Hi, this is Andy from Edelweiss Interactive and in this video I'm showing you how to use the calls in combination with prefabs. There's a few things you need to consider when doing that. So, if you import any model, any 3D model into Unity, what Unity does is to create a prefab like that one. Uh, this prefab consists of several mesh assets like this wall for instance has to be stored or is automatically stored in unity using this mesh asset here so you see here's a mesh and this is done for every mesh that unity is using so for instance here is the roof and all this kind of thing the problem is with the decals that we are creating the mesh in unity and so it's not important and we have to take care on our own that the mesh assets are created for this video I would like to show you how you can enhance one of your assets let's say this building here and create a prefab out of it that works all the time so for that I'm going to duplicate my prefab first of all so that's the house we've seen before I'm going to duplicate it and say wood house with graffiti graffiti yeah I'm going to place a graffiti on it obviously so that's our new prefab we have created and now we have to place a decal in it or a decals instance so we create that one first and drag it into the prefab. Now let's place it at the origin and add everything we need. So first of all we have to select the material. We create the UV rectangle. Let's take that one down here. and project it onto the wall so first of all rotate it correctly like that minus 90 degrees and place it onto place it where you want it at the moment it's also shown at shown at the inside we could use the calling or just um, place it precisely so we go like that yeah and now it's shown just oh my god what am I doing yeah, that's it let's say this is the asset as we would like to uh, store it in a prefab maybe even sell it in the asset store so first of all we have to apply it now the decal is a part of the prefab let's delete this prefab instance in here and create a new one and oh surprise there's no decal being projected and the reason for this is that we haven't created a, a mesh asset at the moment if I'm selecting the the prefab and go to the decal the, to the decals instance there's even a warning saying that I have to select the decals instance in the prefab uh, in the prefab instance first of all and this will create the mesh asset so I'll demonstrate you that it's going to oh there's already one from a, a video recording I did before just just forget about it you haven't seen it so if I select that decals instance here which is part of the prefab as soon as you select it it is going to create the mesh asset for me or at least it should it doesn't I'm doing something wrong at the moment Don't, I know no there's no the problem is yeah of course there's no mesh at the moment so I have to first update the projection and now as soon as this happens 
and I select it again now you can see in here the decal smash has been created okay uh, this is usually not the place where I want my meshes to be in the top folder so what I can do is to to select the folder down here it is part from the demos let's go to the where is it bootcamp assets it's part of the buildings and the meshes okay let's say it has to be placed in here and now the mesh asset has automatically been moved in there where is it Prevent meshes and you see in here is the mesh we have just created or the one you see right here okay now if I'm deleting that one and create an instance again wrong one buildings prefabs yeah here it is if I create an instance now with the mesh as I created it automatically works like that and that's exactly what we wanted and there's one more thing that may be important if we create another variation of that one let's say graffiti 2 whatever it doesn't matter that much so that's a new prefab now and let's create an instance of it as well and move it so that's graffiti that's graffiti 2 so in though even though those are two different prefabs if I move one of the projectors around it's going to update the mesh asset we have created but both of them are using or are linked to the same mesh, mesh asset at the moment but we actually want to have different mesh assets for them so let's say we create a new mesh asset, mesh asset for graffiti 2 we do it just by pressing this button here create new mesh asset mesh asset um, let's press the button select the folder which is should be the same one or can be the same one of course and right now if I'm dragging this one around the original one is not being updated so we have two different assets that we can work with like that it's pretty easy to create variations uh, of the same assets I'll show you quickly that the mesh is really stored in here so that is the original one while that one is the, the new one yeah I think that's it so if you if you like the decal system please make a rating in the asset store or write a review donations are also welcome to support the further development of it really welcome yeah so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.